These are the faces of a modern-day slave trade. Kibria, who's 27. Mohammed Asem, 25. Ayub, a father of three. Bangladeshi men abducted to Thailand to be sold like cattle. They were rescued this week after Thai officials were alerted by villagers who'd seen them being moved between their jungle camps. What they told us was a scarcely believable tale of organized slavery, of being lured by offers of well-paid work, then drugged, bound, and packed below deck on a boat carrying more than 300 captives. 18-year-old Abdurrahim is still hobbled at the beating he received from the Thai brokers. They took us to the jungle and gave us no food, he said. For 10 days, we survived by eating leaves. My heart is burning for home, said Abdurrahim, the father of three young children. All I can think about is how to get home, how I can see my family again. We were taken back to where they'd been held, a marshy, indented coastline, ideal for concealing people. Well, it may look a bit basic, but this rudimentary bridge over a mangrove swamp leads to one of several holding centers just in this area. And it tells you this is not an improvised operation. The slave trade is well established in this part of Thailand. Mm -hmm. The district chief, Manit Pientong, pointed to all the signs that a large group had been here for several days. They were moved at least twice to different camps while the brokers negotiated their sale. When Manit and his men finally caught up with the Bangladeshis, they were terrified and near starving after more than three weeks in captivity. Around 60 others were missing, presumably already sold to their buyers. Manit told me he's determined to stamp out this human trade. The world wouldn't accept this going on. I live in a district where we can stop this practice. That would demonstrate our sincerity. We need to fight this to make Thailand a better place. The captives have identified this man as the most brutal of their guards, but there are other more powerful figures involved. Will the Thai government back the district chief and move against them? And what will become of these men who so narrowly escaped being sold into years of slavery? All they want now is to go home. Yet the Thai government is inexplicably dragging its heels, leaving them stuck here, still waiting for deliverance. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Pangna, Southern Thailand.